Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and once again, here I am to update you guys on the iOS 8 jailbreak. So with time, you know, it gets better, keeps getting better, improved, and again in this video, I'm going to be showing you an updated guide on jailbreaking iOS 8. Now, if you've already jailbroken with one of my older guides, there's really no reason to do this. This is pretty much just a newer version, very simplified. It does not work for Mac yet. I'm sorry, but the Mac support is just not out yet. We are all waiting for it. The two improvements that this jailbreak provides is that it installs Cydia without needing to install this little Pangu application. So it directly installs Cydia on your device and it's in English. You can actually read and see what you're doing. So two really good improvements. Now, again, if you're already jailbroken, there's no difference. This is just a very simplified, you know, it's just super straightforward way to jailbreak your device on iOS 8. Now this does work on the iPhone 6 Plus, the 6, 5S, 5C, 5, and 4S. This will not work on iOS 7, only work on iOS 8.0.2, 8.1, and 8.0 if you're still running it. And this will work on all iPads, including the new Air 2 and Mini 3, as well as the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now with every jailbreak, every new release, the reason I make a new video is because things change and if you're new to jailbreaking, you'll want to watch the newest and updated guide. Now the good thing about this jailbreak is that it fixes all of the bugs that were found in the older release of Pangu, so no longer are you going to get any boot loop issues, you're not going to get any iCloud activation errors, so this will be a very straightforward jailbreak, literally one click and you're done. So I'm going to walk you guys through it, I'm going to talk about the jailbreak itself, why you'd want to do it, I mean what's the benefit, especially with iOS 8 improving a lot of functionality, so let's go ahead and get into that. So the main reason you'd probably want a jailbreak is to free your device. Open up a lock device that Apple locks before it gives you infinite possibility. I mean, you can install themes, lock screens, you can install new functionality. There's a really cool one that I know of where you slide down in the notifications menu and it'll actually allow you to respond to a text message from here. Aside from that, you can install emulators. I mean, play Game Boy Advance games, Super Nintendo, which Apple did patch the little glitch where you could do it without a jailbreak in the latest 8.1 firmware and jailbreaking allows you to do that. You can literally open up your device to a world of customization and functionality. Aside from that, you can also get free tethering, which could potentially save you money if you do pay $20 a month with Verizon for tethering, and it works just the same. Anyways, is it safe? Absolutely. I mean, with every release, it's getting more and more stable, so you're less likely to experience any sort of crashing, especially in this latest release. So I'm happy to say that I personally have not seen any issues so far. Now, also, is it illegal? No. A lot of people tend to think it is illegal, and that's not true. It's been protected by the DMCA Act for a while. Every year they do evaluate it again to see if it's going to be legal, but generally jailbreaking is 100% legal. So that's great. Now, does it avoid your warranty? Yes. Unfortunately, if you do jailbreak your device and Apple sees that you have Cydia installed, sometimes you can remove Cydia, but they'll still be able to tell. Unfortunately, it does void your warranty, but if you do uninstall Cydia the correct way by restoring your device, they'll never be able to tell. It's just impossible. But anyways, guys, this works only on a Windows computer for now. However, the steps will be exactly the same for a Mac computer. Let's go ahead and begin. Now, there's two things you need to do before doing this jailbreak. For one, Go into your settings, go into Touch ID and Passcode, and remove your Passcode, remove Touch ID, because this will interfere with the jailbreak. Also, go down to iCloud and sign out of iCloud, remove Find My iPhone. That's a must. If you don't do this, you might have some errors. Of course, you can enable both the Passcode and iCloud after. There's no issues. Just during the jailbreak, you want to make sure that is disabled. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. Now, I will be jailbreaking my iPhone 6, and this guy is completely stock on iOS 8.1. And the last thing is I would recommend you go ahead and update to 8.1. If you go into settings, you go into general, about, and you are not in 8.1, you're going to want to update. However, there's a specific way you need to do it. Plug in your device to iTunes and update through iTunes. Do not update to 8.1 from here because it will interfere with the jailbreak. However, if you have already updated, try this jailbreak. Most of the time it will work. Sometimes it won't. You'll need to restore your device in iTunes to go ahead and make it work. So make sure to update to 8.1. I mean, why wouldn't you? You're going to be enjoying the latest firmware, all the fixes and changes, as well as the updated jailbreak. So go ahead and plug in your device to iTunes. And of course, you do need to have iTunes installed. And in a moment here, I'll show you how to back up your device. Now in iTunes, I want you guys to go in here and select this computer for the backup. And then go ahead and select backup now. Now, nine times out of 10, there will be no issues. You'll just breeze through this and you'll be jailbroken at the end. 
you'll be able to enjoy all the latest tweaks and themes and whatnot. But for now, I mean, I want you guys to back it up because you really never know what could happen. Mm -hmm. So you guys will need to download one thing and that's Pangu, a latest version, which is 1.1. And of course, all links will be provided down below in the description. So download that, drag it to your desktop, right click on it, run as administrator, select yes. And you're gonna get this and it's finally in English. Wow, we can read it now. Now the latest version of Pangu, I personally have found that it's very stable. I haven't encountered any kind of issues. And one more thing you should do before actually doing this jailbreak is go ahead and put your device in airplane mode. So that will help ensure that you do have a better and more pleasant jailbreak experience. You know, you're less likely to encounter any sort of errors. So with your device in airplane mode, go ahead and select start jailbreak. It'll give you these little disclaimers, basically what I covered. And also down here it does say the more stuff you have on your device, the more likely it is to fail. So if your device is completely full, I mean, empty it up, either restore it, back up all your data, jailbreak, and then restore all of your data. But you know, the more stuff you do have on your device, the more likely it'll result in an error. That's apparently what it's telling me, but all right, already did and the jailbreak begins. So I'll stay with you just so you guys can see what happens. I mean, I know a lot of people are doing this for the first time and with an expensive device, it is, this is freaking 600 bucks, 650 bucks. It's not an easy thing to do unless you know that it's absolutely safe. And I gotta tell you, jailbreaking has only been getting better and better. With time, it's just been getting more stable, performance is fine, and a lot of people ask me, will it make my device slower? And the truth is no. There really isn't any reason that jailbreaking should make your device slower unless you start installing just a ton of things left and right. I mean, if you just select your tweaks carefully, the ones you want, disable the ones you don't need, then you'll be fine. You'll have a great jailbreak experience. But anyways, it is actually finishing up here. And the cool thing about this release is that it does install Cydia for you. Now, after it's done, your device will reboot. All right, so my device has restarted. You can go ahead and close out of everything on your desktop. You don't need that anymore. And once you slide to unlock, you'll have Cydia and that Pangu icon right here. So this really isn't necessary. It's just a little way to manage things besides Cydia. But in here, I'll go ahead and open up Cydia and it'll prepare the file system. This does take about five minutes, you know, so don't interrupt your device. Don't reboot it. It's crucial you leave it alone right now. So, you know, it'll take a little bit and then it will restart your device and then Cydia will be usable. So, you know, it's only been about a week and there have been so many developers that have jumped on this iOS A jailbreak and I've been seeing a lot of cool things. Tomorrow I'll be posting another tweak video. I know you guys really like that and it's really interesting to me because there's so much that's being opened up with this. I mean, with every software update, Apple does improve iOS 8, but there's still so much left to be desired. You can save so much time and add so much functionality to your device with all these cool little tweaks, and I'll be sure to share all of them with you because it really does interest me as well, and I love sharing really cool stuff with you guys as well. So in a moment here, once it does restart, I'll be right back. All right, so after your device does restart, you should have Cydia on your springboard. Now, in the case that you don't, it's really simple. There's two things you can do. For one, restart your iPhone again. Sometimes it'll get stuck and just a simple restart will remedy that. Two, try this whole process on a different computer. For some reason, it may be a driver issue. I don't know, just a couple things maybe off. Just try it on a different computer. Run this whole process on a different Windows computer. Or if you have a Mac, just wait until the Mac version is out. It'll be out any day now. But go ahead and try this on a different system and most times it will work but it is very stable, so you should have Cydia on your springboard. Go ahead and open it up and you'll finally be able to use it. Now, of course, you get this big disclaimer here. You know, not everything is compatible with iOS 8, and there's a lot of things that do work, but don't officially work. I mean, they're made for iOS 7, but they still do work. And believe me, right now, you guys will be getting a lot of little bugs everywhere, but nothing major or system crippling. So generally, this jailbreak is very safe, very stable, and already, at the end of this video, I'll show you guys a link to where you can go ahead and click on my video and watch Top 10 Tweaks, iOS 8 compatible, and I will be releasing another video just like that tomorrow, because I know a lot of people do like those, so of course I will be sharing all the cool little things you can do on iOS 8, but for now, I mean, you guys can install so many cool things. Now, if you guys have any issues with a jailbreak, you know, be sure to click on the link down below. There'll be a full tutorial, all the guides. You know, if you're encountering any sort of error, I'll cover it there because I know not everybody has the same experience, but generally it's been a very good jailbreak. Now, one thing is the Mac version is coming out very soon. I will be updating you guys on that as well. 
and like I said, all the cool little things I will be showing you guys, so stay tuned for all of that. You guys have just unlocked your device. It's a world of possibilities, and I do hope you take advantage of that and install all the cool things and you know make your device more functional and prettier. So enjoy the iOS 8 jailbreak, guys. Big shout out to the Pangu team that's been working very hard, and really it was just such an unexpected jailbreak. Nobody saw it coming. It just came out of nowhere, but that was great. So guys, enjoy the jailbreak. Enjoy all the cool things you can do with it. Have a great day. Peace.